Welcome to episode 7 of our series on the Libellus de Memoria of William Perkins. Id Kirko non est memoria in occupitis angustiis colocanda cum potius ad omnes carebri partes se ipsum fundat. Peripatetici hoc strenue totum negant, duasque opinionis suae causas afferunt. Prima, quod occupitium durius sit, ideoque ad retinendum firmius. Altera, quod lysa, memoria, remedia tantum occupiti a medicis ad hibentur. You recall that Perkins now sums up his argument from the previous episode. He says, therefore, non est colocanda memoria. The memory ought not to be situated. Colocanda est here is a passive periphrastic, as it's called. It consists of a gerundive, namely colocanda, a form of the verb esse that agrees with the subject, which in this instance is memoria, and then the third item is conceptual. It connotes necessity or obligation. That's the passive periphrastic. Therefore, the memory ought not to be situated in occipitus angustiis, in the narrow parts of the frontal lobe. This is Perkins' diagnosis. That's not where the memory resides. Because, rather, fundat se ipsam, it pours itself out ad omnes partes, to all the parts of the brain. Therefore, it is Perkins' conclusion that the memory is distributed equally through all regions of the brain. The Aristotelians, he says, peripatetici, strenuously or vigorously, strenue the adverb hoc totum, deny this whole matter. The Aristotelians deny this whole conclusion, strenue, with great vehemence, and, here's the que, and duas causas afferdrunt opiniones suae, and they put forward two reasons, two causes or explanations of their conclusion, opiniones suae, of their position. These are prima and altera. Now, one might think that prima and secunda would be more natural in an enumeration of items, but no, the standard is always prima and altera when it comes to listing ideas or parts of an argument. The first reason is that, quote, a capitium, the foremost part of the head, is more hard. And so, ideoque, and so it is more firm for retaining or holding on to things. This is the position of the Aristotelians. The second reason is that lysa memoria. Now we have to note here that this is an ablative absolute. And so this A is long, as is this one. And lysa is the fourth principal part of the verb lido lidera, third conjugation verb, which means to harm. The second reason is that when the memory is injured, lysa memoria, as with this fellow here in the picture, the remedia, the cures, are applied adhibentur only by the doctors, amedicis, to the frontal lobe, akipiti. This, of course, is going to be uh, in the dative. And it goes with adhibentur. The cures or the remedies are applied adhibentur only to the foremost part, amedicis, by the doctors. Notice that a uh, medicis is an ablative of agency, and I wonder whether this gentleman here with the crack in his head might be a professor of Latin. Thank you for joining us.